Science news. Murder hornets have arrived in North America. Murder hornets? Killer hornets? Hornets from hell. Can kill someone. Murder hornets? What's all the hype? Today, I will go over the news, explain why the Asian giant hornet is an invasive species, and talk about the threat it poses to the United States. I'm your host, Chris, and welcome to Science Talk TV. The murder hornet got its nickname from recent media hype, but it is a fitting nickname. Let's talk about the biology of the murder hornet and explain why it's causing so much fear. These hornets are actually called Asian giant hornets. Scientifically, they are of the species Vespa mandarinia. These giant hornets grow up to two inches long and are native to Japan. They feed mainly on honeybees. They have giant mandibles, which they use to easily decapitate their prey. Being seven times more venomous than the average hornet, they do have the potential to kill humans, mainly by allergic reaction. Japan has about 50 yearly human deaths, and about 1,500 injuries are reported in China every year. To compare, I looked up the deaths in America caused by normal honeybees, wasps, and hornets, and the number was also very low, only 62 deaths per year reported by the CDC. People are generally way too fearful of these stinging insects. I thought the number of deaths in America would be in the thousands from allergic reaction. Even if the Asian giant hornet becomes widespread in the United States, the human death count will be negligible. So what threat does the Asian giant hornet actually pose to the United States? Well, the reason scientists are worried about the Asian giant hornet is because it's an invasive species. Native bees in America have no natural defense against a murder hornet attack. In Japan, the honeybees have a defense where they can kill a scouting hornet, keeping the hive hidden. The bees swarm the hornet and vibrate to cook it alive, raising the temperature of the hornet to a fatal 117 degrees Celsius. In Japan, the hornet scout would mark the target hive and return with an army that could easily kill the victims. But in America, just two or three giant Asian hornets can destroy an entire hive. American bees have no chance against these murderers. So what industries are threatened? Obviously, honeybees and honey production are at risk, but farms and plants that rely on pollination from bumblebees are also at risk. The main threat here is that the giant Asian hornet could spread across the United States, decimating farm production. This would threaten crops because bees are vital for their pollination. Foods like apples, pumpkins, raspberries, and oranges will fail if bees are no longer around to pollinate. But as of right now, we don't know if there are any surviving queens in America or not. If there are queens in the Northwest, vigilant reporting can help the scientists exterminate this threat before it gets out of control. Personally, I think the murder bee threat is a bunch of hype, and it's likely that there are no active colonies in America at this time. Also, when you visit an Asian country where these hornets are already established, they aren't something that people think about every day. They really are not a big safety concern. The true threat to bees is human activity. Pesticides, habitat loss, and climate change are the main threat to bees around the world. Asian giant hornets are not any more dangerous than traditional stinging insects. Also, they are not aggressive towards humans. If you want to learn about the real insects you need to be afraid of, check out my video on mosquitoes. Check back every week for more science news, animal facts, or 101 science education. Thanks for watching Science Talk TV.